This program brought to you by Campbell's Tomato Ready. Ready when you are. With the initials M and T. Do you know who said, if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything? We'll find out in just a moment when we play Perth's very own Initial Reaction. And now, the host of our show, Steve Fitton. Good afternoon and welcome to Initial Reaction for Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a good Monday. Monday Ida should be well and truly passed by now. And we have a big show for you tonight and another big week of Initial Reaction. How'd you go with that opening question? M and T. It was, of course, Mark Twain. And the truth is this. We may very well, early this week, retire another Initial Reaction champion with that $2,000 Dream Saver account from Bank West. So let's get underway, Tony. Let's meet our champ and today's challenger. Steve playing tonight in the blue seat. Here's our carryover champion. He's a sales administration assistant from Bedford who loves watching game shows on the TV. Please welcome back Ben Croker. <laughs> our next challenger is studying at Murdoch University and loves to cook up a storm. Joining us tonight from Bull Creek, please welcome June Van. Our challenger first, June, welcome to the show. Thank you, Steve. You're a student. I am. You're studying... I'm studying commerce at Murdoch Uni. And where do you think, is, that, is this just for your own good or, or you think you might change careers? Well, I hope that it'll sort of further my career prospects, yes. but I've wanted to do it for a number of years and I'm finally there. What's it like being at uni? Fantastic, I'm having a ball. Wonderful, hope you have a ball today on the show. Welcome and good luck today, Thank June. You. Thank you. Ben Croker. Fourth night back, one more and you uh, take away the Dreamsaver account from Bank West there, Ben. That'd be nice. You like to watch game shows on television? I do, yes, when I have the time. What's your favourite game show, Ben? Um, initial reaction. Yeah, that'll do, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Welcome back. I know you've brought a big gallery of supporters in with you again, Ben, so good luck today. It's good to have you back as well. Let's get into the game, shall we? We'll load the board now. Our first category today is entertainment and in particular movies. Three in a row wins, as you well know, Ben and June. Carryover champion control, so the computer will choose where we go. For this Monday, let's get it going. Zed, the masked swordsman of Southern California. Zorro. Correct. <laughs> June. I have number seven, thanks, Steve. OK. B and K, it's movies. I won a Best Actor Oscar for being Gandhi. Ben... Kingsley. <laughs> You're halfway there. Ben Kingsley and Ben. We'll go for disc six for the win, thanks, Ben. Movies SW. She fought the nasties in four alien movies. Sigourney Weaver. That is correct and that is a win. <laughs> so early in the show. By Ben Croker from Bedford, our carryover champ. That was a quick one. Quick game's a good game. Quick prize then, you get a reward for doing that. Up on the board, A, B or C, two great prizes, one pot luck in there, Ben. I'll take B, thanks. Ben, this Uniden cordless phone is ideal for the busy person because it leaves you mobile to do more than just talk on the phone. Available in a range of colours, it's valued at $129 and available at all Retrovision stores. <laughs> Wonderful prize. Well, Take a moment now to get to know our champ a bit better. Ben, you love roller coasters, is that correct? I do. I was lucky enough when I was a 16-year-old to travel to Disneyland and to California and had a great time. And it's my ultimate ambition to um, do a worldwide tour of all the scariest, fastest roller coasters in the world. Where would you think at this stage in the year 2000 is the biggest, most scariest roller coaster, the one you'd most like to try? If I could go anywhere, I'd head to Orlando in Florida. I think they have the best selection there, so I'd go Wonderful. There. Ben, are you, uh, are you a quiet roller coaster rider or do you make a lot of noise? Scream. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. Let's take a break. We'll come back and have a go at game number two and see what can happen and see if we can't get some runs on the board for our challenge in June. We'll see you after this on Initial Reaction.
Welcome back. You're watching Initial Reaction. Ben Croker from Bedford, our carryover champion, back for his fourth night tonight. Ben, so far $12,860 odd dollars worth of prizes to this, including that fantastic cruise on the Superstar Gemini. I can't wait. Well done, you're doing very well. And leading the game by 10, June Van, our challenger. June, you've got an interesting story about working in a supermarket. Do tell. It was many years ago, one of my first after school jobs, and uh, one of the things I had to do was use a very powerful uh, commercial vacuum cleaner to run along the aisles there. And this particular day, I was running along the aisles and got to the end, and uh, there were people there, and I suddenly found that I couldn't move. There was a man standing in my way. And uh, I sort of couldn't hear him over the vacuum cleaner, but I realised his mouth was moving. And when he's pointing downwards, I glanced down, I actually had the fabric of his trousers sucked up into the <laughs> vacuum cleaner, and he couldn't move. You didn't charge him for that, I hope, did you? No. no. <laughs> June, scores we need from you, OK? Very easy, five points for correct answer. Only trailing by two answers at the moment. You've settled in in that first game. Let's get game number two underway and reload the board, please. Three in a row wins you the game. History, our category, movers and shakers of the world and challenger in control, round two. Computer has chosen number one, GW. The Brit beater, who was the first US president? George Washington. Uh, yes. <laughs> movers and shakers of the world we're looking for here under the category of history and champ, your move. Disc seven, thanks, Steve. G, his perestroika collapsed the USSR. Sorry. Gorbachev. Gorbachev. June. I'll have disc six, please, Steve. OK, number six. Trailing by five at this stage. It's a C. Prince Charles's longtime lady friend. Camilla. Camilla is right. <laughs> Camilla Parker Bowles. And it seems that um, Camilla Parker Bowles has been accepted by the Royal Watchers and the British public as mm -hmm. Charles's partner. Ten for ten. Ben? Disc 11 for the block, thanks, Steve. Number 11. D. The People's Princess. Diana. Indeed. <laughs> a successful block. Always a dicey move, June. I'll have number five for the win, please, Steve. OK. Challenger going for a win on the middle line. It's an M. Which great sculptor created David? Michelangelo. That's correct. And that is a win. Fifteen plays fifteen. Very interesting scoreline at this stage. We're going into uh, double points round after the break. But before then, June, as a reward for winning that game, you get a prize A, B or C. There's five bonus points behind one of those. I'll take C, please, Steve. June, you'll be able to make your magic moments last forever with this Samsung Slim Zoom 130 camera. It's valued at $349 and it comes to you courtesy of Cameraland Camera House. Well done. June Van from Bull Creek is our challenger and Ben Croker from Bedford, our champ. Who is going to come back for the Champions round this afternoon? We need someone and we need them after the next round. Ten points for correct answer and scores are even. Definitely anybody's game. We'll see what happens after this on Initial Reaction. Initial reaction, it's round three, an important round now. We've got double points and we've got a carryover champ who wants to come back for champions round tonight, don't you, Ben? I'm trying. Tomorrow you win. $2,000 in a Dreamsaver account from Bank West could be yours. So looking forward to that. And uh, last week you won the Superstar Gemini cruise and there was a little indecision about who you would take. There is. Well, with such a large family, it's going to be very difficult to make that decision who comes with me. I think we'll be drawing a name out of a hat. They've been lobbying you all week, have they? They have been. Bribes and prizes and little parcels and flowers turning up? I'm open to anything. It's a great prize and uh, congratulations to the lucky person who's going to go on that cruise with Ben. That's an excellent prize. Ben on 15 and June, our challenger on 15, playing well. Thank you. OK, no pot luck in round three. We choose a fantastic prize. Here it is. Steve, the winner of Game 3 tonight will be taking a friend and spending two nights in luxury accommodation with a full buffet breakfast each morning. Your prize is valued at $480 and courtesy of the Hotel Grand Chancellor, Perth. Very worthwhile indeed. That's what we're playing for in round number three. Ten points for correct answer. We need a carryover champ before we go to the next commercial break. Let's load the board. Our category this time around is geography. Even scores, so... Ben, your turn to uh, control this game. The computer will choose. And it's number five, a D. Australia's Royal Military College is here. Duntroon. That's correct, Duntroon. 
25, please, 15, June. I'll have Lucky 7 again, please. Steve. Lucky 7, it's an EH. The great road that crosses the Nullarbor. The Air Highway. The Air Highway, it is. <laughs> Longest, flattest, straightest stretch of road anywhere. Okay, Ben. 25, please, 25. Disc 9, thanks, Steve. Okay. P. Geography and landmarks in Australia. A Victorian Grand Prix island with a New South Wales governor's name. Phillip Island. Would be Phillip Island, yes. <laughs> Phillip Island, of course, where the uh, motorcycles race and where the, the old V8s used to as well. June. I'll take number one for the block, please. Okay, sir. blocking on one. Landmarks in Australia. I need a correct answer here, June. It's a BV. South Australia's wine heart, named after a battle in Spain. Barossa Valley. The Barossa Valley, indeed. Beautiful part of the world. Okay, Ben, scores are even. Um, I'll take D6, thanks, Steve. Okay. TC, a territory gold town named after a friend of Stuart's. It's Turtle Creek. Tennant Creek. Close. Tennant Creek and June. I'll take number eight for the win, please. Number Steve. eight for the win. The middle line is favouring you today. It's a B. Peter Brock won here nine times. Bathurst. Bathurst, yes. Mount Panorama in Bathurst, a, uh, well, a, a great, it's been split into two now. You see two different races with uh, the Bathurst. It used to be all on the one day in October. Love to go and see that, but haven't got there yet. We have a uh, challenger in the lead. Her name is June Van, plays on 45, Ben's on 35, and we do have time for another game. So, therefore, another prize. Here's what we're playing for. Enjoy a sumptuous lunch or dinner for six people in the stylish ambience of the award-winning Fish House Restaurant. Valued at $500, it's courtesy of Linda Mead of the Fish House. Another great prize. Someone is going to win that. Of course, if the bell goes, we won't play out the game. We'll put the prize away and uh, bring it back out again another time and then go to the scores for our carryover champ. But time permitting, we'll play game four. Let's load the board, please. Ben in control again as you are trailing. Our, ca our category is wildlife and the computer now chooses where you go. Down the bottom line, it's an H. Wildlife and plants. The art of cultivating gardens and their contents. Horticulture. That's correct, horticulture. <laughs> do you like a dabble in the garden? Uh, I don't have much of a garden, but I do try. Keep it weed free. Okay, scores are even and June, your play. Uh, I'll stay with tradition and go for number seven, please. Steve. Number seven. The middle line's been uh, doing well for you today. GT, our usual name for eucalypts. Gum trees. Gum trees is correct. <laughs> our challenger in the lead by ten and our champion playing now. Disc nine, thanks, Steve. Okay, number nine. DR. It's Sturts and Northern Territories. Desert Rose. Correct, Desert Rose. An important game for our champ because he wants to come back and play champions round, but I think so does June. <laughs> I'll have number 11 for the block, please, Steve. Okay, blocking on 11 on the middle, on the bottom line, it's a C. One kind of tree called horse. Chestnut. Yes, the horse chestnut tree. <laughs> a successful block, and Ben. Disc three for the block, thanks, Steve. Champ going for the block now, RD. Rotto's blue flower. Sorry. The Rottenest Daisy. Ah. A blocking move that's won the game for June. <laughs> June, you are off to the Fish House. Uh, dinner for six, $500, thanks to Linda Mead. Fantastic. Well done. Looking to the scores, June on 65, Ben on 55. The bell has rung. We can't play any more games. A brand new carryover champion, June Van from Bull Creek. Congratulations. <laughs> Ben Croker. Ben, it's been great having you on the show and you played very well today. It came down to the wire but just pipped by only one question. $12,860 odd dollars worth of prizes. Had a great time, Steve. Sharing them around, that enormous family of yours. I'll try. And that excellent, that, that cruise. You must be happy with the cruise. Oh, it's fantastic. I can't wait. Something else for you to take home, Ben. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you. Ben, you have been a whole lot of fun. Please remember us here on Initial Reaction. We'll send you away with this fabulous men's Pulsar watch. It's all courtesy of Zamel's Jewelers. Time for a break.
When we come back to the show, June is going to be standing right here. It's Champions Round Time. June, with that Proton up in the gold prize level, you could win that. Will June do it on her first show? Come back after the break to initial reaction. Reaction. This Monday afternoon, it's Champions Round time, and only the champions get to stand here with me, June. You've done that. You've uh, beaten Ben on his fourth night, and you are now the champ. June Van from Bull Creek, studying commerce at university at the moment, and looking forward to maybe getting to that gold prize level. That would be wonderful. You've seen how it's done. You've been watching the show at home, obviously. Yes, I have. Some great prizes on Champions Round. Green, blue, red or gold. This is what we're looking at today. It could be two nights accommodation for four in deluxe spa suites at the superb El Cabello Blanco Golf Resort. It includes 18 holes of golf each and a voucher to the value of $200 to the restaurant or club bar. Valued at $1,140, it's courtesy of El Cabello Blanco Golf Resort. What about you and 29 friends at a private screening of the great new Australian film My Mother Frank starring Sam Neill? Held at the beautiful Astor Cinema with a fully catered morning tea, this prize is valued at $2,050. It's courtesy of Beyond Films, Astor Cinema and Dome Mount Lawley. This simple-to-use, fully computerised sewing machine comes complete with a Janome scanner, so you can create your own designs as well as achieve professional-style embroideries. This fabulous prize is valued at an incredible $3,678 and brought to you by Janome. And if you reach our gold level prize tonight, we'll let you drive away in the new sporty Proton Satria. This five-speed manual transmission car is perfect for the Perth lifestyle with its amazing array of fabulous extras, air conditioning, power windows and power steering. It also has a state-of-the-art Blaubung CD player, 14-inch alloy wheels and an incredible three-year, one million kilometre warranty. This fabulous prize is valued at $16,990 and is proudly offered to you by Joe Crisafio Proton, Osborne Park. You'd like the car. Certainly would. The Proton Satria is up on the gold prize level there, but you also expressed a little interest in the sewing machine. Yes, I'm a very keen sewer, Steve, and my machine's a few years old, so I wouldn't mind updating it. Red prize level, all you've got to do is get up into the red prize level inside the 45 seconds. We'll quickly go through the rules, because this is your first time on Champions Round. Ten correct answers in a row, up to the gold, you drive home in the Proton. Incorrect answer, drop back down to green, but you have more time to rebuild. And the same as if you're having trouble with something, Instead of umming and ahhing, give us a pass, you'll drop back down, but give yourself more time to rebuild. As I said, the Proton sits on gold, the sewing machine's up on red. Are you ready? I'm ready. When I say start the clock, you'll hear my first question. Let's do it. Thank you. Let's do champions round. Start the clock now. N, which is Africa's longest river? The Nile. Correct. P-R, he came very close in this year's Wimbledon. Pat Rafter. Correct. A-T, Australia's first space shuttle astronaut. Pass. Andy Thomas, G. One with a hundred zeros. Gigabyte. Incorrect, the Google. HG, Liz Hurley's ex-boyfriend movie star. Uh, Hugh Grant. Correct, TC. They rocked around the clock with Bill Haley. The Comets. Correct, HA. He led the Tijuana Brass. Herp Albert. Correct, P. Chopin played it brilliantly. Pass. The Piano, DS. The code name for dealing with Saddam. Desert Storm. Correct. D. Americans call this game checkers. Drafts. Correct. TH. <laughs> D for drafts. Green prize level. Well done. This is what you've got. Congratulations, June. You've won two nights accommodation for four in deluxe spa suites at the superb El Cabello Blanco Golf Resort. It includes 18 holes of golf each, a voucher to the value of $200 to the restaurant or club bar, and two bottles of wine from the Blackwood Winery. Valued at $1,140, it's courtesy of El Cabello Blanco Golf Resort. Well done. What are, your, what are your feelings on the champs round? How do you think it went? Oh, reasonably well, actually. I, I was a bit nervous, but it went better than I had hoped. <laughs> Andy Thomas, Australia's first space shuttle astronaut. Just complete blank there. The man who called Perth the City of Lights. That's right. And uh, one with a hundred zeros. One and a hundred zeros after it's called a Google. I've got computers on the brain. <laughs> She's at university. Not, not doing math, ma mathematics, though. You're doing uh, college. No, so. but I've done a couple of computer units as part of that. So. Gigabyte has a lot of zeros as well, but it not, certainly does, not yeah. a hundred. June, you've done very well. You've got a great prize. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Keen to have another go on the Champions certainly Round tomorrow? Certainly am. Looking forward to it. Coming back for Tuesday with a brand new challenger, June Van from Bull Creek. Have a look at our carryover champion. We'll see you tomorrow. Certainly will. Thanks there are the Steve. questions. I know you know the answers. Have a great Monday night and we'll see you tomorrow on Initial Reaction. See you later.
association with Golden Globe Entertainment, this is a Channel 9 Perth production. Tony McManus speaking.